Well, howdy doody everybody. Today we are going to repair our windshield. We were rolling through Amarillo and they were doing some road construction on the side of the road and it was really close to the, the barrier. They had a, like a truck that was leveling out some gravel and as I go by, he kicks up a bunch of rocks and busts our windshield. Now we got two small, well one small crack and then one fairly good size crack. I don't know if this repair kit's gonna be able to repair this one and let me show you it real quick. All right, we got this fairly good size crack right there. Uh, it has two hairline splits on each side. So I don't know if this repair kit is actually gonna be able to fix this, but figured we would try first instead of spending $300 on a windshield. Then we got this other little one right there. So we'll see if uh, this little repair kit will fix these. So this is the repair kit we're using. It's the rain -X windshield repair kit. It comes with uh, some little suction cups and basically a whole little kit to try to repair any cracks and stuff. I've had this for a while. You can pick these up at Walmart. And I'm probably sure a lot of people have already had experience with these. But I figured I wanted to do a video on it just to share with people who haven't uh, tried out this rain -X kit. It'd probably be really good for somebody. We called uh, Safe Light to get a, get a quote to see how much it would cost to replace it. And it was like 325 bucks. Not real expensive, but if we could save money and make the windshield last as long as possible, uh, the kit's only $10 at Walmart. So, I mean, it, it just makes sense to try to fix it ourselves first instead of paying 300 something dollars. Uh, you got to pinch those pennies where you can. So we're going to give this kit a shot and see uh, how well it does on the, that big crack. So I want to show you everything that comes in the kit. This is a little suction cup thing that suction cups to the, the windshield. And this is your resin applicator. Uh, it's two pieces. This one goes in first and then you squirt the, the resin down inside this. Then you use this piece to screw in top of it that which pushes the resin down into the crack. And then it comes with, of course, your resin then after you're you finish filling the crack you have to put a couple drops on the outside and you apply one of these and it's basically the curing sh strips and then it also comes with a razor blade so after you peel off the curing strip you scrape away any excess it's a real simple basic kit the resin i mean it, you can get a couple applications out of this it's not just for one crack and it's done it's enough resin in there to get to repair a couple cracks if you got them so 10 bucks quick quick kit you know it's easy to do so we're gonna give it a shot right now so it says first to clean the surface you want to make sure you get any little tiny pieces of glass debris out of there. Uh, use the razor blade maybe, or but I'm going to wipe this down really good. We got a little hole right here. We want to line that up to the center of the, of the crack. That looks pretty good. Then we're going to take our resin applicator and screw that into it until it touches the surface. And it says to put six drops of resin. All right, we're going to squirt one, two, three, four, five. Then we screw our resin this basically pushes the resin down into the cracks. And we do have a little bit of resin runoff here. I might have put a little bit too much, but you know, that's fine. I, it's a pretty big crack, so I wanted it to try to spread out into those two hairlines. Now it says to do this part in the shade but we got a little bit of cloud cover right now, so technically we're cloud shaded. And then it says, once you do the curing process, you want that to be in direct sunlight. So the sun started coming out, so I'm use this, using this to kind of shade it. Uh, we gotta let this sit for about four or five minutes. So this is something you definitely wanna do on a sunny day because the curing process does require direct UV sunlight. And I could have probably turned the truck around 
to have the it not in the direct sunlight when I'm doing this and then turn the truck around again so it was in the direct sunlight for the curing process but I figured this was easy enough to just shade it with the cardboard so it's been sitting for about a good five six minutes and what it says to do is unscrew the part that pushes the resin down in there and this what this does is help remove any air and then you re-screw it again and you do that just to make sure there's no air bubbles in there now we're just going to take the applicator out, remove the suction cups, and we're going to wipe any uh, excess off. Now we're going to take a few drops and put it on on those little hairline cracks. Then we're going to apply the curing and we are in direct sunlight now and we'll let that sit for another five to ten minutes. We're going to go ahead and let this cure, this side cure and then do this one as well and we'll come back and see how it does. All right, we got our second curing strip on. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this curing strip off. Then you take your razor blade and put it at a 45 degree angle. And you gotta clean off any extra resin. And it sounds like a freaking chalkboard. So, I mean, it. it's a, real quick fix to do you know um it didn't do real great i mean i i i don't think i followed the instructions exactly to the t though at least it's going to stop it from cracking more um i'm gonna have to double check to make sure uh it's not going to get us a violation because if it is a safety issue or a violation then i'll go ahead and just replace the windshield because that you know having to pay a ticket because of the windshield and then replacing a windshield when you ain't saving any money, you're wasting money. Um, I'll put up a couple uh, clips right here of, uh, you know, how it turned out. I used it on three cracks, uh, three little chips that we had there. Two of them are, I guarantee, are not violations, but the really big one, um, the two splits on the side, I, I really don't know. It filled in the initial damage really good, and it filled in part of the, cra the two hairline cracks on each side, so um, it filled it in partially, not all the way, so... I think it's good. Um, I'm going to double check to make sure because, I mean, it's it's all the way over on the passenger side. You know, but DOT are pretty strict. So we'll, we'll make sure and I'll keep you guys updated in a future vlog or something and let you know what we end up doing. If it's not going to be a violation, you know, and it's not as bad, then we'll just leave it. And I'm sure this the resin and stuff will really help stop the cracks from spreading. I think it's a good option, um, it just depending on your type of crack, you know. I know when we drove for a fleet owner, his insurance, there was a, he had a hundred dollar deductible. So no matter what it was, uh, Safe Light, a uh, hundred buck dollar deductible uh, for your, in to use your insurance. We don't have that on our insurance. I've called them about it and asked them if that was something we could add to our insurance. They said it wasn't, so... Maybe it's just the insurance company that we have that doesn't allow that. But definitely check with your insurance, you know, see if that's an option for you guys to use. We'll keep you guys updated. Uh, make sure this ain't a safety issue and if we do end up changing the windshield. I hope you guys liked the video. Until our next video, peace, love, and expediting.